If you've bought a pistol other than a Glock, you know that the struggle is real. Finding accessories, especially holsters, is a real pain in the neck. You would think that a popular pistol like this one, the Smith & Wesson M&P 9 2.0, would be easy. And yeah, there are quite a few uh, models you can find out there, but not for this long slide, not this tactical one. And especially once you have added a laser light combo, and especially if that laser light combo is not one of the Streamlight or Surefire models, then forget about it. You're not going to find anything. And I've looked for months to try to find a good holster that could fit this whole thing. And really, I was just about to give up on all of it and get myself a cruddy little kind of nylon fabric holster that could, you know, it kind of swallows any pistol but then I was contacted by Falco and I think they might have seen some of the setups that I had and they're like hey we can fix that uh, so these holsters are pretty much all custom made and they are for a lot of the pistols that you actually have this isn't just for Glocks or just for a couple of you know like the SIG uh, P320s now is going to get a whole lot of options but if you have something else that's a little bit oddball, these guys probably make a holster for it. And not only that, they can custom make you one for that extra uh, item that you may have attached. A laser, a light, a laser light combo like this one. If you go to Falco Holsters, over on the left side of the screen, you're going to see uh, kind of a configurator. You can see if your pistol is in that list, and they have, well, they claim that they have the largest selection, and I absolutely believe it. I've never seen anything quite like this. You have all of your classic pistols, you have all of your current ones, and the odds that you can find a holster that fits you is extremely high. And not only that, like I mentioned, if you have an accessory attached to it, you can probably get that as well. I had probably a good, oh, I don't know, eight options for this Smith & Wesson with its light combo. I could have a whole bunch of different options like a straight up and down holster, kind of a military law enforcement one like this. They had some that were, you know, cross draw kind of laying back. They had some at all kinds of different angles. Check out what their options are for you. But uh, come up here and let's take a close look at uh, some of the, the odd ducks that I have here on the table and the, some of the solutions that I selected from Falco in order to uh, kind of fix this problem. And real quick, before we jump uh, up here and take a look at all this, make sure that you get fully ammunized. You can't go to the Boogaloo if you aren't fully ammunized. Uh, so yeah, check out some of the merch that I have. I'll put a link around it here. So if you wanna uh, get, pick up one of these shirts, yeah, I'll put a link. The Taurus Model 66 revolver is actually pretty common, and you can find quite a few holsters out there, but you probably won't find as many options as you will at Falco. This, for example, is a cross draw that I intend to be able to use while seated especially. A lot of these holsters that sit straight up and down, uh, they get really annoying if you're getting in and out of a truck a whole lot or if you're sitting up in a ladder stand, and I think that this is going to sit just fine while I am. You can see that it's pretty straightforward. It has the usual thumb brake and you can see back here that there's a little metal tab so they've gone beyond just the uh, the simple snap that you usually have you get a little bit of extra help from this metal brace so if I push on that snap it out of the way and draw and one thing that I'd like to point out you can see that by now I have a pretty three-dimensional shape inside this holster and this is all based on two-dimensional leather. What we're trying to do is take two two-dimensional cutouts of leather and make them fit a three-dimensional shape. So when this arrived, it didn't quite fit. It was pretty darn tight. I couldn't really get the snap in place. And this may be the way that it goes for you as well. So what you'll need to do, and this was recommended to me by Falco themselves, uh, you take your gun, you put it in a plastic bag, something that's gonna be a little bit on the tough side, like a, a, a gallon zipper bag, and use this. So you just kind of find out where the hot spots are, where it's a little bit too tight. Like for me, it was right up in front of the cylinder and at the front of the trigger guard area. And I just dabbed some of that in there and I jammed the revolver with the plastic bag inside, snapped it up, and let it sit for a good long while. And uh, now this thing fits great. The revolver slides in very neatly, and I can snap this up pretty easily. It's a good fit. Even with it unsnapped, it doesn't really want to fall out. Uh, this should be pretty secure out in the woods. You know, even if I just slam this into the holster and go take a run, uh, this shouldn't really want to fly out. The other two were a little bit, uh, these are the more complicated ones, and these were also a tight fit, so I had to stretch them out a little bit as well. Uh, so this one right here, 
This, here, let me get the, uh, the actual model numbers for you. This one is the C604 Timeless Leather Holster for Cross Draw. And there are other options as well. There are the straight up and down, and there are just some other uh, shapes that you can get, but I really like the look of this one. This, for my Smith & Wesson M&P 9 2.0, uh, this has that extra long, Okay, this one is still a little bit on the tight side, uh, but this is the way that I would be drawing it out like that. So yeah, we have the uh, the five inch tactical barrel, and then I have this Olight Balder Pro attached, and that is how uh, this was configured. This is the H202 leather duty holster uh, for a gun with a light. You can see that it has quite an aperture right there for the light. Again, good three-dimensional shape going on. You have some options when you purchase this one, of course, with or without light, but you can also choose your sight heights. And uh, this one only comes in black leather. This one you can get brown or black. This one is just black. It's an, intended to be a duty holster. And this attachment that you see here for your belt, this does have a couple different options. This is actually a Safari Land piece. So if you want to swap over to one of the other Safari Land accessories, you can uh, just pop that in, just unscrew these, and then you can attach this leather holster to it. And this one has enough room for a two inch belt. So if I wanted to wear a big old duty belt, I could wear it with that. This one, like I said, did want to stretch just a little bit, but uh, it actually does fit everything now. And I've got the laser light combo in there. Now, one of my favorites is this guy right here. My Taurus OSS 9mm. This is the C601 Timeless. And this, even though it has a very similar configuration, just fits a little bit differently. And I really like the way that it goes. You have two pieces of leather pancaked together. And it just draws very neatly. Great big space inside there. And it also... Uh, fits back inside the holster very neatly. So this one is just very quick on the draw. It feels very stable. And as you can see, uh, I got the two inch loops again. This could be one and a half instead of the, the two inch. And this one has a slight lean forward, as you can see. So this would be kind of poking just a little bit forward. With a long barrel like I have, I think that's gonna help with my uh, sitting again. So if I'm in a truck or something, hopefully that won't be uh, pushing too hard down into the seat. It'll kind of be going back into the corner. I'll let you know over time how this works out. But yeah, I just love the feel of this. If you look on the inside, you can see those shiny kind of wear spots where this has been sliding. And over time, this thing is just gonna get better and better. All I have to do is remember to keep conditioning this leather and it should last me a good long while. Uh, let me talk about some of the prices real quick. This uh, C601L, is 75 bucks and then another four dollars for the initials that you see here so i got tsr for the social regressive same thing with this one this was also 75 dollars and four dollars for tsr here on the front and you can get it on the front or the back we also have some uh, some lines some little character lines to make this a bit less drab to make it uh, just a little bit more interesting kind of indicate what's on the inside uh, kind of pounded into the leather. And you can see that the stitching, this is some kind of synthetic fiber, uh, nylon, polyester, not sure which, but it seems to be uh, very heavy duty, well stitched. This should last a really long time. This one costs 110. This one doesn't have any other options like initials or anything. This is devised to be, you know, that duty holster. This is for your law enforcement types. And uh, these two are a little bit more interesting. You can be a little bit more personable with these. And again, I recommend this one, the 601. This is just a really cool looking holster and I really like it so far. I'll put a link in the description below to Falco holsters. Make sure that you check out that catalog of theirs because maybe you've had a classic pistol riding around in a box or maybe just kind of sitting out in the safe and you'd like to be able to carry it someday. Well, these guys probably have that option for you. So check them out. And they probably have different uh, price points for you as well. Thanks a lot to Falco for sending these out for me to test. I'm really happy to be able to uh, you know, deliver this to you guys because I know that for myself, I was really frustrated with just not being able to find a good holster, especially one that's gonna be rugged, long lasting and look pretty good. Um, I just thought that that was not an option for me and I'm really happy that it's gonna be an option for me and for you guys as well. Thanks a lot to patrons of the Destructive Arts for making videos like these possible. Uh, they purchase ammunition, keep the lights going, keep the camera 
cameras rolling. I appreciate you guys a lot, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.